Happy Tuesday, everybody. Jim here. Um, it is now our sixth devotional in the Reboot Devotionals. And today we're going to crack on with Romans chapter 6. Let me just read the scripture to you, okay? I'm going to read verse 3 and the first half of verse 4. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death. So, as we learned yesterday, baptism means put into, and you are in Christ. If you have yielded your life to Jesus and trusted him to be your rescuer, then you are in Christ. Now, here's an important thing to remember. God lives outside time. The Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, they live outside of time. So when you trusted Christ and were put in Christ, that was simultaneous for him because all of human history is one moment with his death and resurrection. So that is just ginormous. And I know it does your nuts a little bit, but we need to understand that we're talking about an eternal being here, dwelling in eternity. And we're stuck in this little thing called space-time. And so when he says that you have been baptized into Christ and into his death, then that was simultaneous with the death of Christ on that cross. You, the you that was B.C., before Christ, died with him on that cross. And then this verse, which is new for today, says, We were buried, therefore. We were buried. Now tomorrow we're going to talk about the third part of that. But I just want to talk about the word buried for the uh, remaining couple of moments we have this morning. It is the cap on death. That's why it feels so final when you're at a funeral and the casket is lowered into the ground. There's a finality to it. It's the punctuation at the end of the sentence. And that's what Paul means here by using the word buried. The you that made all of those mistakes, the you that was lost, the you that was um, trapped in sin, addicted to destructive things, that you, when you cried out to Christ in faith and trust that he would rescue you, that meant that you are a new creation. And that you, died and was put aside. Problem is, we dig that old us up and keep it around. It belongs in the ground. It died with Christ. I just, I just want to compel you today that when those thoughts come, those memories come, that false identity that was shaped by those decisions, those mistakes, those addictions, those idols, that rebellion, whatever it may be, that is gone. It does not define you anymore. You are a new creation. The old is gone. Second Corinthians 5.17. The old is gone. The new has come. And so your identity is what we're going to talk about tomorrow. But I just want to say today, your identity is no longer, and the cap has been put on top of it. Your identity is no longer what you were, where you came from, who raised you, your family of origin, your neighborhood of origin, your education of origin, those things aren't limiting factors, and they're not defining factors any longer. Because you have died with Christ and been buried with Christ.
I want you to enjoy that today. And if the enemy tries to bring any aspect of that old you back and define you by it, you just tell him, oh, you're talking about someone who's dead and buried. I'm someone new. Jesus, we are so grateful that we are new in you. And I pray for the wisdom and I pray for the courage for each of us to be able to no longer be defined by our pasts. To genuinely allow our past to stay in the ground where it belongs today. And to begin to enter into the newness of who we are. I hope you have a good Tuesday being free from all of that stuff. Take care, guys.